back like we never left BDA and we're back. We're back for another surprise Q&A where we answer questions from a previous video and this is from the last chapter live reaction which was a while ago. It took me a while to, to actually get to do this but had so many questions. We're going to get into the comments. We're going to respond to them. I may do other videos in this as well just to get caught up but let's for right now just a uh, One Piece chapter 824 live reaction. So Let's start off with my boy Oscar Dotel. RIP my boy Kid. He will forever be in our memory. <laughs> um, I don't think Kid's dead, but I can understand how it looks like, you know, he, he got destroyed by Kaido. Especially with the, the new episode we just saw with Kaido. It's hard to see Kid not getting destroyed by that man. <laughs> Roger's base, LOL. Uh, Roger's back like we never left. Hey, putting is my new waifu, bro. I'm with you, <laughs> yo. I'm with you, Baron. Now, Ryan Swami says, your Roger's brother theory. Yeah, that's becoming more and more likely now. She's, um, Burmy Beats. She's got eyes, but combed her hair over the eye. LOL, Sanji got catfished. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing, LOL. Yeah, Sanji is not expecting that. So when he finally sees that eye, I wonder what his reaction is going to be. I wonder what his reaction is going to be. 100 hoes, Kaido. <laughs> 100 hoes, Kaido. Kid is the new piece in my whole collection. <laughs> <laughs> for a space lmao no chill uh what's up Akainu? you're a beast um here we go i told you all about jack smoker 71311 wait smoker 13 smoker 713 what do you say about jack did you predict that he was a merman or fishman jj wilson sanji maintaining his place as the number one simp in anime of course Putin looked good <laughs> i agree bro i agree the reaper damn we lost sanji <laughs> King Uber, word up. <laughs> nah, he's still there, bro. He's still there. I think Zora and Kaido will bond over drinking. Ah, he's Jacket D Hiker. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of, I don't know. That's, you know, that could be a thing though. Monkey D Luffy Killer is also from the North Blue, just like Sanji. Coincidence? I think not. Yeah, bro. All that stuff is, um, you can check out my theory, Roger's theory, Flying Panda's theory. We all, you know, have killer as Sanji's brother. The evil Rohanite. Koala working for the Straw Hats for a while after Jinbei joins. If he does, it would make sense due to her relationship with him. I like that. I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. Mark One Piece Theories, we should live today. Uh, he wanted to do a live stream. Yeah, bro. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of slight. I, I'm, I'm a bit late on that. Um, JJD Guzman. So Jack is a fishman and he can't swim because of his ability. Exactly, bro. Exactly. Uh, LOL Braga, Brook used to be in an army, army convoy. I'm sure he knows what a chain of command structure is. Um, I think I had said something about Brook and his knowledge of the revolutionary uh, chain of command. And Brook, you know, he sees Sabo. What I meant by that is Brook sees Sabo as a second command. That's what's been publicized. But I'm sure there are other revolutionaries that are undercover that are stronger than Sabo that technically are in higher rank where he he has to follow their orders but th that can't be made public that's not public knowledge Sabo is what's the face for like the world government for everybody to know but there are other guys that are stronger than Sabo that are not made public I should have explained myself better but that's that's what I meant um Kaido reminds me of Magellan a funny but badass villain um they're quirky they're quirky. I can see that. Vince Mogli Sanji. I can't wrap my head around the fact that Oda is such a fucking genius. Like, how do you keep making this manga better every chapter? There has to be one. There has to be like one shitty chapter somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, Oda is a beast. Um, I think a chapter that was kind of underwhelming was the one where we kind of got. I don't know. We got um, we got basically the the Peckham stuff when we saw Peckham destroy his house. And it's kind of like a, a wrap up to the chapter. I mean, that's just a wrap up, though. That's when Luffy jumped off and he was about to jump into the ship to to, to, to go to Cake Island. That's probably the only chapter that wasn't really hype. D. Luciano, I want to be in the stream. Bro, I'm going to invite you to the next one, bro. I'm invite you to the next one. No way, don't make, any, don't make any sense. It's more possible for me to stop and watch One Piece than Killer Axe for help. Nikolai Dimitrov, um, I hear you. I hear you where Killer Axe for help is kind of. I don't know, if, but Killer is a strategist, and he would looks like he'd do whatever it takes, and he'd make the best decision possible to to get his captain out. Because I don't think Killer got caught. I think Killer got out of there, and now he's going to search for help. Martinez Blazitis. 
Kid versus Epumi Wano. Kid will want revenge. Yeah. Kid is definitely going to go after Wano, bro. He's not He's not playing. It is the three-eyed girl. Yeah, uh, More than likely. More than likely. It's a damn, we lost Sanji. Because of and V. I, I think it's because how we looked at the girl. They're like, all right, he's done. He's gone. But I think it's more to it. Um, if Peckups and Carrot joins, it would follow the rule of three order love to use. Three Paramecia. Luffy, Robin, Brooke. Two Zoan. Chopper, Peckham's. If he joins, one Logier equals Carrot. If he joins and eats the Yuki Yuki no Mi, Tangerine speculation. Sebastian Gilame. That is great. I like how you did that. I like how you did that and tied it together. If they both join, the Straw Hats and their forces would be bolstered tremendously. Like adding Peckham's and Carrot as a Logia, that would be sick. What about Peckham's and Caesar, though? Yeah, Caesar, Josh Bailey. Some people have pointed out Yano pointed out before how Brooke talks. I, mean, I was assuming that means before how Brooke talks about Dragon's presence. Does it mean he has felt it before? Perhaps a past meeting. It's like with all the Straw Hats, but Robin and Brooke in particular, they always know more than they lead on and more than we know. Like it always seems to be that way, and it's kind of like, damn, like. This is information that we want to know. Like, like give us this information beforehand. Um, a past meeting, possibly, possibly. I, I, Dragon's presence, because I'm sure Dragon has an ear about him that's just like unbelievable. So I, I get that. Damn, Sanji has a tough decision to make, bro. I'm with you. Um, whoever that girl was, she looks, she looks good. She looks good. Kid got raped. Black Star Gambino, <laughs> Manny and agrees. <laughs> Winston Francis. All right, I think Kaido has was saying that kids should tell Luffy and Law to just run because they haven't dealt with any monsters like him and they've just been fighting Shichibukai and he's on a different level. I have no idea how Luffy can beat Kaido when Kaido destroyed kids like that and yes, Apu could have teamed up with Kaido to fight Kid, but do you really think Kaido needed help? Okay, Winston, great points. One, Kaido was, yes, he was telling them they should, they don't have a chance against him because they're fighting Shichibukai and yes, he feels like he's on a different level, but then the question comes up, is Mihawk on his level? Like, Mihawk is also Shichibukai, and we kind of look at it, Shichibukai, they have different levels. Mihawk, is, uh, no, Moria is not as strong as Doflamingo. Like, he's not as strong as Dofi. So, it's like him basically basing the Shichibukai off of his experience. I'm not sure if he fought other Shichibukai, but he ran it with Moria, and I feel like he's not giving them enough credit. He's And then, like one of his crewmates said, he's underestimating them, right? I do not think that Kid, Kaido needed help versus Kid. Of course not. But with Kaido and Apu, with Apu like probably hitting Kid in the back or something, then it's no chance. I don't feel like Kid at this point should be getting one-shotted by Kaido or Yaku, whoever it may be, because it's the new world and we're closer to the end of the story. And supposedly, he's going to be on Luffy's level as far as in the generation. At the end of the series, Luffy's going to be stronger, but right now, it's going to be um, Luffy. But I feel like Kid should be at least strong enough to not get one-shotted. So I don't think he got one-shotted, but definitely he, he, he him getting beaten was, you know, I, we, that is to be expected. Um, King Uber says, I think Apu saw a strong Kaido wasn't just bent the knee to him after Kid took that beating. That's a good way. That's a good way. Um, and some friends probably, yeah, definitely, but I don't think he, he helped Kaido in fighting Kid. I don't know. Next thing is how Luffy's going to fight Kaido when Kid got, got destroyed by him. That's my question. Um, I think Oda is doing what, I think what Oda is doing is setting up a fight with Kaido versus Law, Kid, and Luffy. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. And I, it still won't be easy. All three of them are going to be extremely damaged after the fight. Yeah, yeah. If all three goes against, I, I don't know how I feel about that. All three versus Kaido. I, all right, I'm beyond dream. I, I still stuck to the idea that the revolutionary that the revolutionaries fled before Blackbeard arrived, and due to frustration and disappointment, just destroyed Baltigo. Then the CP0 Marines appear. Pudding is the three-eyed girl. And your theory about Sanji's brother and what? And your theory about Sanji's brother and what will happen in that party was fucking amazing. You're a genius. <laughs> Oh, stop it. No, go on. No, no, I'm joking. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, the, the, the whole thing with Killer showing up to the party, it's looking more and more likely. With Killer going to the party with that theory that I made, with Killer being <laughs> the brother of Sanji. So he's that's why I, I, I said that Killer would show up to the cake party because he's a massacre soldier and he's based on fred burke he could possibly be based on fred burke or whatever so yeah yeah thank you thanks though that was that was a good theory um 
But the Revolutionary Army, yes, they left before Blackbeard got there. And of course, in frustration and disappointment, yeah, he would destroy Baltigo. But I believe that if Dragon made the call and set it up so CP0 would show up and then they go against each other. And therefore, you're taken out. Because remember Dragon mentioned before that the CP, that they're becoming Cypher Pole. They're becoming a lot more stronger recently. In recent years, they've been getting a lot stronger. So he wants to take it out from the top. So he called in, you know, made a call, called in CP0 to set up the Blackbeard Pirates to kind of uh, advance his own agenda, you know? So I believe that's what happened. Let's see. The, the, the Moans. Moans X. Moans X. This chapter was amazing, even better than the ones in Zoma, my opinion. We know that Sabo and Dragon, and Dragon are probably not dead. He finally got Kaido's personality. We got Luffy being a dumbass comedy again. Jack Fishman. Information about Big Mom's territory and information about Sanji and the marriage. Nine out of ten. Yes, I agree. It was an amazing chapter. It. It's funny that you still gave it a nine though, but. <laughs> but no, it was um, it was good. It was good. Um, we got so many different things in this chapter that it's hard to not give it a ten. Because you get so much information, bro. It's a lot of information there. Um, I believe that Scratch and Apu was working for Kaido. Therefore, that the alliance broke down. Um, yeah, he could have been working beforehand. Because we, we don't know. How many fucking ways does Oda have to tell you Sabo is the second strongest revolutionary? Um, second rank, deal with it. Um, Dan Fisak. Okay, Dan. I, I, I just explained that I think Sabo, as far as knowledge to everybody else he's a second in command right but i think that for stealth not stealth but undercover purposes they're not going to reveal who is actually second rank second like the revolution revolutionary spread all across the country that that guys have been doing their thing for a while now they, they've been infiltrating so yes for public knowledge and people that they want you to know salvo is second rank yes but we know there is going to be more to it than that. When we see the revolutionaries and who they are, do you really think that Sabo could come in as a kid and be the second strongest already? Come on. Like, we got the revolutionaries, they, if they expect to oppose the world government, Sabo, who went up against Fujitora and couldn't take him out, he was struggling against Fujitora. How can he be? No. No, they need a lot more than that. A lot more. Jack confirmed to be a failure. He will fight someone outside the Monster 3. I don't know, Broderick. I don't know, Oscar LMFAO, Ryzo, yeah, he can't even get those planks off him. Because he, he, he can't move. What's up with Robbie being his opponent? God, Usopp don't, Usopp don't do lightweight. Where my boy? Why is, yo, Broderick, the jack disrespect, though. There's no planks on him. Even so, he can't move, you idiot. <laughs> I'm ultimate destructor. <laughs> LOL. Honestly, someone skipped the part where they said dove fruit users can't move in water. LMA, they're trolling, though. Another stupid fucking loser. Oh my god. Like, people are so harsh nowadays. Nicholas Kaito. Nice reaction, but too bad no chapter next week since it's Golden Week. It didn't say break next week, so as far as I know, we're, we're getting one. Yeah, well, they don't really they don't really say whether or not it's break on Golden Week. Yeah, Nicholas Kaito is right, Bradley. Um, There is Golden Week, so I would say a week later, we had no chapter. So, yeah. Shimian, our destroyer has close to Sanji because it was snowing in both pal panels. Um, Yeah, yeah, because they're pretty... This should be pretty close now. This should be getting pretty close at this point. Hiraga, just in case you, you didn't know, Mill Fuel is a French dessert literally meeting 1,000 leaves, in case you were interested. Oh, thank you. I did not know that. I did not know that. Thank you so much, Sirio. Um, Lone Monarch, LMAO, trust me, Kaido did one shot, kid. The dude is a fucking Yonko for logic's sake. If Luffy and Law struggle so hard to weaken Dofi and finally beat him, and Dofi is scared shitless of Kaido, and that Kaido calls Dofi a trash tier scrub, then you should know what to be said next. Ultimate Destructor said, Shut up. Ultimate Destructor is a fucking savage, right? But um, a bit harsh there. I think you should say why he should shut up, right? Um, Lone Monarch. Um, Kaido one shot and kid at this point would make no sense. Yes, he's a Yonko and he's stronger than. Dofi, compared to Dofi. The thing is, I don't think Kaido would one-shot Dofi either. Dofi's just scared of him because maybe he knows he has no way to kill him. So, event and because of Kaido's, um, we don't know what other what the other calamities can do. I feel like he knows a lot more about Kaido. That's why he's scared of Kaido. He knows how his crew stacks up against Kaido, so he's he's gonna be scared of him then too. But also, I also think that if if Kid is getting one shot. By Kaido at this point, 
Luffy, that how can Luffy stand a chance, dude? Like, if Kid is getting one shotted and Luffy is gonna go to fight Kaido, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Because Luffy and Kid, they should be comparable in strength. A lot of people say, oh, Kid didn't get a two year time skip. What the fuck? What do you think he was doing for two years? Just, just getting his arm chopped off the whole time? Like, we have to just think about this logically. Often lied, Lucy seen Captain Kidd in that state wrecked by Kaido and off his high horse. I can't help but wonder how he would go about taking on the Great Shanks. <laughs> oh my god, uh, Elfin lied, Lucy. Um, you know, that's a good point. That's a very good point. And, and, and um, I don't know. I don't know what his plan was with Shanks. He felt because he had Apu and Hawkins with him, he would stand a better chance. He, he thought that. He knew he didn't stand a chance. Or Killer knew he didn't stand a chance by himself. He, he knew that they, they, they weren't strong enough. So he employed the help of um, uh, Apu and Hawkins. So that's 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 what the thought process was. I had the thought that Jack was the fishman in the back of my mind because he had similarities to Dillinger. The fishman with horns of the Flamingo's crew. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. That's the similarity that everyone's been drawing and the comparison that everybody's been drawing because of the horns and Dillinger. He supposedly had the ability to reattach his teeth and all that stuff. So yeah, um, Dillinger was half fighting fish, so Jack could be the same. That's a great point, the greatest one on one. Omar um, Al Malki, okay, has a lot of responses, so something went down. So this kind of tells us how Jack survived against the Admirals. They generally thought he was dead, and that's why they put his death on the news. This makes me like Jack even less now. I really thought he was able to put up a decent fight against the Admirals, but it doesn't seem like it. It's probably a similar situation to what happened with Zunisha. Jack picked up a fight, got destroyed pretty easily, pretty easily, and sank along with his ships. Then waited for someone to come save him. Mmm, au contraire. Um, okay, man, he answers Jack is weak. Jack is confusing. Why must Oda screw with us? Not sure about weak, but did pick three fights and won none of them. That's just pathetic. Oda just wants him to be that way. Stop trolling, didn't lose the fight with the Minx. I didn't say he lost, but I wouldn't call that a win. Why not? The Minx had an upper hand, though. Read this right. What is this link? Um, okay nevertheless we gradually began to gain the upper hand but it was a member of, one member of the army that one that we were unable to suppress jack himself calling him a monster does not do him justice indeed 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 they had the upper hand but there's one person that they could not suppress and that is jack so they say he's trash and rise up they say k okay. all right let me just say this he went up against the admirals. Um, he, so he lost to Zunisha, lost to the admirals, and lost to. Um, well, he didn't lose to the mix. He won that fight. Okay, no matter how we did it, he won that fight. Versus the admirals, three admirals. It's like that was just you know shooting past your goal, right? Um, with Jack, he, I don't know how you can call this guy weak. When he, I don't know how you can say that seriously. Um, Omar, Omar Al Malki, Omar Al Malki did say he, he's, does, he's not weak, but the Minx can take him down, and he did all this consecutively. So I don't know how you can call Jack weak. Also with Omar, he said he sank along with his ships. I don't know because Jack still had his ship when he was sailing back to Zo. So I don't know about that. Uh, Caladino, so Jack is a fishman looking similar to Hody Jones, if you ask me. But getting beaten by a giant elephant like Zunisha or one versus three admirals, I don't think Jack is weak. I mean, who would survive that except Yonko's? You can be Whitebeard yourself, but one does not simply stop that trunk. You know, it's funny. Um, you guys make a great point because watching the anime episode this week, seeing how big Zo really is. Zo is so big that it's in the clouds, right? It's walking through the clouds. So the size of that trunk is like a fucking island coming at you, dude. Like, this, it's going to be hard to avoid that. You, for I'm saying, uh, Kaido's entire gag is that he's drunk with mood swings. So we know that. So we, now, so we know now he's mostly not suicidal. I'm not sure how I feel about this, but I can't imagine how troll, playful, drunk Kaido is going to be. Also, I saw tons of people saying in this chat, so I'm going to clear it up now. Jack is either fishman or part fishman, so he can breathe underwater, but he can't swim. He's waiting for someone to come drag him out of the water. That's true, bro. That's true. Uh, Elohe Simeon says, nicely explained. Rise of the theorists. Blackbeard, like we never left is what you want to say. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That is so good. Um, boy, Danny Animek. Uh, kid got wrecked too hard. GG. That's like good game. Good God. Good God. <laughs> good God. Kid got wrecked too hard. 
the any anime we meet again next time we meet i think i shall consider this a sign of a higher power and take this as a sign to sub to your channel so we can start this bro win romance of ours what the fuck uh danny Anime says let's get things started mate i hope to see you stop by let me fit okay this is just weird dude i'm hookups are happening on my on my uh, comment section daniel mcbride called it jack fishman of year sanji he sprung indeed guilty kaido easily drinks heavily because he's depressed and suicidal oh well nice gag i agree my mind is currently exploding cannot contain hype must join the stream <laughs> oh man you know i'm gonna have a um a stream eventually it's just like people that don't, know, don't normally join the stream people that don't have channels and everybody that's like um that's normally in the comment section and they want to join the stream that don't that's never they don't normally join my streams i want to just have a conversation with all you guys it's gonna it's 10 slots so nine of you guys at one time um and you know we can just we can just talk for a while talk for a little bit about um, one piece or whatever whatever right um, maybe Jack is called Jack the Drought, not because of his devil, but because of his, but because of his fishman abilities. How would that work, though, Calvin? That's what I'm. How would that work as a fishman? W. Ross Ten. I know for a fact that Shanks is, Shanks is the strongest on the planet now. Kaido is a big emotional bitch. Also, when that storm came out of nowhere, I thought it was an L. I forgot that the Grand Line has random weather. Yeah, I, I, an L crossed my mind. Dragon it crossed my mind as well. Uh, King of Darkness said, Shanks lost his arm to a sea creature and Kaido is the bitch. Wow. Just because Oda's edited the accent to make that seem more dramatic. Kaido is a monster, though. It's funny when people say that about Shanks. First of all, Oda did not plan for the series to be this long. Secondly, secondly, that was a necessary plot point. Basically, Shanks taught Luffy the whole friendship thing where Luffy would do anything for his friends. He got that from Shanks. LOL. Link. She made it up. Even the narrator in Chapter 795 said that Kaido is the strongest living creature, so he's the strongest. LOL. They're still in denial. True. People didn't stop fanboying Shanks now. Damn. Damn, they go at it in this comment section, bro. Killer's not there with Kid because he left to rescue his brother. I agree, Rizo. DDA is definitely the <laughs> third eye chick. The hair's covering. The hair's just covering for sure. The game just changed for Sanji. Yep. The game just changed, my man. The game just changed. The game just fucking changed, dude. So now we have the comments for the review. Um, Park and Weebles first as well. <laughs> and I probably appreciate that. All right. Super Saiyan Nami, Luffy's cooking. I'll have a bite. Um, this is the video for the review now. Bleach 31792 Rivera. Also, Fishman can have double food showed by Jack, who looks like he could be. That's been on my mind for a while. The Fishman had one. Would it be unconscious or can't swim in the water? But would it turn out they're awake and they can't talk but just can't move? Cool. Vander Decken is the first Fishman we've seen with food ability, not Jack. Yeah, Vander Decken is the guy that was at Fishman Island. Um, Sully Abram says, I'm Zachary Jacobs. Zulu, if you can only do training and fighting without help, it needs to train under a certain area. Hmm. Yeah. I, I'm not sure what. I, I, maybe I mentioned something. Anime XP. This chapter was legit. It was, bro. Devise James. At first, I was wondering why everyone thought Dragon set up the Blackbeard Pirates, but then I remembered that I remembered that Dragon had called in all the other revolutionary leaders, and then it started making sense. Yes, 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 yes. He set him up, bro. Bleach one seven nine two Rivera. This could be me, but this could be the setting for Killer asking for help to get his captain. That might set up Luffy Law, X Drake, Hawkins, Kitten, and if Bonnie is there, maybe she will join. And if they get together, Kaido might have a challenge. Yeah. I don't know about all of them, but definitely the first three. Oh, our first two. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm first. Someone give me a cookie. You got it. <laughs> um, I wonder if Luffy's going to fight Kaido while, while drunk. And how funny would it be to see them fighting and Kaido isn't taking it seriously. So he's going to go through his drunk levels. That would be so funny and cool at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. If, um, <laughs> if, um, if Luffy's fighting a kid or Kaido, I don't think at first he's going to take it serious because he's going to be under underestimating him. Dark Lord, my boy. I also feel like Dragon set this whole thing up. Oh, uh, oh my God, kid, free kid. Yo, bro. Sean says, Oda wouldn't have the king lose off screen in his first sight. Trello of Blackbeard, we didn't do shit to Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blackbeard didn't lose. This is a setup. But I think it's more Absalom, which doesn't make sense, but okay. Your title is so on point. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Jack is actually very dangerous for the fish man. It makes me makes me wonder how strong he really is. Yeah, because he can't. It's it's gonna be hard to kill Jack. My money is my money is on it being a Kiji that tipped off CP0. It makes a lot more sense for it to be him, a former admiral. Then it would be for, then it would be then it would to be Dragon, the government's foremost strong, the government's foremost sworn enemy. My theory is Aokiji is undercover and that the Gorose are well aware of all of his dealings with Blackbeard. Hmm. Aokiji. 
The thing is, with Aokiji, with Blackbeard City, you already didn't trust him. So for him to be that, I don't know if he can be doing those things right now. Because he has to be as covert as possible. So I don't know if he's going to be going around doing these things. Honestly, I don't know if he's going to do that. Um, Phoenix 91... Let's see. Kid probably faced the biggest backstabbing and backstabbing in the series so far. He isn't like Luffy to make allies and friends everywhere he goes. Most likely he faced Kaido alone and unprepared. Just because he decided to make Shanks his target, the majority of the fandom gets all butthurt and salty towards him. I agree. I fuck, I agree so much. If that was Luffy, he would have been locked up in that cell as well. Thank you. People are carrying on like Kid is a complete scrub, and Luffy would have somehow fared much better in the situation. In that situation. I agree, dude. I agree. Like, I've been hearing that everywhere, that Luffy, blah, blah, blah. Like, come on. Like, you got backstabbed. And Pascal, Pac-Shell said, who the hell said Luffy can defeat or would have not faced such a defeat? Bring that ass to me. <laughs> Luffy volunteered to cook after Nami said she would cook, but would charge everybody. Yeah, but come on. Like, come on. You don't let Luffy near a stove. For sure. My boy said, well, I wonder what Sanji's going to think about his future wife when he finds out she has three eyes. Maybe no one would marry her because of it, and she really and she would really love Sanji if he doesn't mind. She seems really shy and insecure, and I doubt Sanji minds the third eye, since he likes furries as well. Fan figure, if he likes mermaids and mink ladies, it'd be really out of character if he would all of a sudden tur turn off by a third easy to cover eye. That being said, I see her tree eye revealing, or three eye revealing would be probably be a moment at some point in this arc. Yeah, that, that that's gonna be funny. Tamago versus Sanji in the future. Future Brong. <laughs> Brong. Tamago versus Sanji in the future, Brago. Boil, boil, no me versus Diablo Jambo. Diam Diablo Jambe. Good review, though. Oh, thanks, bro. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, he's going to be cooking that egg, bro. Tamago and Boil, boil, no me. Seems to be trying too hard to pretend to be the pro while still not know knowing the basics of Devil Fruits, not, not how to understand <laughs> such simple parts of this anime. Like, you just proved <laughs> with this comment. Sad how I still find you in vids about One Piece. Damn! Whoa, whoa! I think he's he's being funny. I don't think he's being serious, so but damn! Wow! And Sa Sean just laughed. He just laughed. Um, he said, "Wow, it's still no life that you can always reply within seconds, as if you're waiting for people to give you some attention for your stupidity here." Wow! I don't know if something personal going on there. Let me just move on. Then Lopez says, "Captain Eustace Kid." That's his new name. Oh, One Piece fans are so fucking savage. Spread the word. Captain Useless Kid. Oh my god. <sighs> Rise of the Theorist, I will save Jack. Alright. Alright, so that was it for the um for this 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 surprise QA. Um I'm not sure when I'm gonna do it again. I'll probably do it in a few more videos. I just like respond to you guys and I don't normally find the time. I don't have the time to respond. Um uh, right away or you know reply but this is a way where i can do it so you guys can still feel appreciated you guys enjoyed the last one i made so there you go and um thank you so much thank you so much and just have a have a marvelous day